What's up guys, Jason Castle here, BassBoatElectronics.com. We've got a new exciting product from PowerPole just out on the market. What is it? Let me grab this beast over here just to show you. Oh snap. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that beaut right there. Here it is, the one dual anchor pump. This is two anchors, one pump. We're gonna get this thing installed on our shop demo boat. Um, get it tricked out and see if the one pump is the deal. Um, obviously for install, anytime, anytime you have to do two of something um, versus one, it takes more time. Um, this is a new brushless motor. It's supposed to be more efficient, more power, single mounting location. I'm really excited to see the bracket to see how it kind of snaps in or whatever. Again, I haven't even opened the box, so um, it's supposed to be less draw, more efficient single pump install aspect i love it um finally an exciting product from power pole it's been a while since anything new or revolutionary has come out from them on the shallow water anchors and i think this one pump is going to make a huge deal let's get this box opened up and see what's all inside let's go all right guys here we got the anchor Sorry, we've got the Power Pole Blade 1 Shallow Water Dual Anchor Kit. Of course, we got to get that midnight black color. So here's the outside of the box. So if you purchase one of these from us on BassBoatElectronics.com, you're going to have one box show up, dual anchor. Let me show you over here because we actually got a whole smorgasbord of other things set up. So yeah, right here. Here's the only other thing you're going to need. You're going to need your dual brace kit. You know, we, we got to get it decked out. So we've got the foot switch. Got to have your foot switches. Those are almost mandatory. Um, cool thing about power pole is you can add as many switches as you want. We're also going to have your travel covers. Not many people run these. I don't see many people running them. I love them. I mean, for one, it wears the pumps out a lot less, or the poles, I should say, from traveling down the road. It keeps them nice and snug. If you ever got the power poles are all loose and everything, the reason they could become loose is because it's road wear, vibration, keeping those covers on them really helps out. And then, of course, you've got your whole adapter plate. So let's get this thing installed and set up. Oh, shoot, I'm jumping the gun. I guess we got to get it opened up first. I love the design. One box. Got an Atlas jack plate over here. So it should be about as easy as it gets to get these bad boys installed. I don't know the easiest way to do this. There's 150 staples in this thing. I guess there's not going to be an easy way. Let's rip it and grip it. Staples are fun when they go right through your finger. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Whoops. All right, here we go. Tops off. Pretty nice, neatly packaged. These are anchors. Got that blackout edition. This one looks sweet. Got our pump. And our hardware. That box feels kind of empty. Let's see what's in mystery box number one. Ooh, the side plates, I bet. Yep, got our side plates. I would say that's what's in this box as well. Two side plates. Here's what I want to see. I want to see this bad boy pump, Mimba Jimba. All right, here we go. Here we got the one pump. Looks a little smaller than I thought it might be. Woo-wee. One, dang, that thing is tiny. I 
thought it was going to be actually big. That's like the same size as a power pole pump itself. New bracket. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, dude. That's nothing, man. I'm going to mount that in the boat. Two eight-foot blades. This is the best thing since sliced bread from Power Pole. Of course, we got to have that green marine fluid. And, oh, yeah. Looks big on the box. Small in person, which I like. Compact. Two remotes. Two lanyards. Looks like you even got a switch where you can, you can mount it at the console. That is really, really cool. That's awesome. Screws, terminal, a lot simpler than, uh, than before. Two poles, one pump. Let's get it going. BassProElectronics.com. All right, guys, let's dive into this install. Let's get going. Slicey dicey. Of course, we got to mount the brackets first. There's nothing better than uh, mounting the brackets and getting the, the poles hung on the boat just makes you feel like success. And then you just buckle down. I mean, there's no end in sight. You just got to get the pump mount the hose and all the detail work. So that's why I like to start with the poles. Start with the brackets. This is the dual brace kit from Power Pole. This is probably the most common bracket kit they make. Let's see, what is this one? This one's the PKBD dash s dash two dash six in black that's the dual brace kit this is by far the most common brackets we sell and install on the boat so fun part getting it all out let's see that's our starboard and starboard brace kit Boost mode. 10 foot blades, you gotta have the brace kit. But in reality, I mean, everybody needs a brace kit. You don't want your power poles dangling. So, oh man, that's gonna look so good. All right, guys. So, got the one starboard side brace installed. Just put this pole on. Blackout edition. Oh, I just can't get over it blacked out. All right. One of the coolest things that I just saw. So this is the one power pole. This is the one pump. Right there is the pump. That we're installing. Small, same size. That's cool. We'll get to that. But finally, one of the coolest things. Volley has a problem rigging. I've seen a lot of aftermarket companies come out with metal clamshells. Power pole has finally come out with their own. Now this is plastic, so some of the aftermarket metal ones definitely feel a lot more robust. Um, but now with the new hose kits, I mean, look how cool that is. I mean, it's gonna be perfect. I was worried. Come on, camera. Come on. Focus. Focus. Let's get you in the light. Focus. Thank you. So, I was worried how in the world we were gonna install that back here. Now with that cable shant, oh, can't even speak. Now with this cable, sh golly, clamshell cover, hose, doohickey thing, my cover will, camera will not focus on. We're just gonna make it installed super quick and easy. So let's get back to it. <laughs> Boom, just like that lickety split. One brace kit hung, one power pole. Oh yeah, that is sweet. Let's get on to the other one. All right guys, finished up the other side, got the brace kit hung and got the pole hung. Haven't ran the wires in the back or mounted the pump yet, but we're gonna knock out this other side. Let's go. Sweet. Whew. Halfway there. 
Lickety split, dang it looks good. Alright guys, just finished up on the port side, the one pump, dual eight foot blade kit. We got the dual brace kit installed. I got it down as low as possible. Um, obviously because you want these things as low as possible without them being in the way of the water and you drag. Um, these are the blackout additions. They're only available right now in the eight foot blade uh, one pump kit, which of course we have at BassBoatElectronics.com. As you can see, there's nothing too difficult um, as far as this goes. Next, I gotta run the hoses and mount the pumps. But, I mean, if you're mechanically inclined, I mean, you simply buy this kit with the brace kit from our website, BassBoatElectronics.com. We ship it to you. You take a Saturday off for the lake and you get it installed. Um, you know, obviously multiple jack plates. You can have different adapter plates, which we can help, but uh, this is a really good setup and I'm really excited. I showed you earlier on this whole cable deal. That's really cool because it's always a big issue for us on installing. Obviously we want it to be neat and clean. So this kit that's already included um, from PowerPole is a very welcome addition. Um, these new pumps, the hoses do feel a little bit different than the, uh, the older, I'm not shouldn't say older models, but they do feel a little bit thinner. So we'll see if that's actually the case. I don't know if it's just the newer design or whatever. Super impressed with the pump. Let's let me grab that real quick. So yeah, nothing's really changed as far as the blades go. Now obviously, you know, they got the matte black finished, which is sweet. I'm a black and white kind of guy. Um, that looks really, really clean. So that one's only available in the one pump dual anchor kit. But as you can see from this uh, pump right here, it's actually about the same size as your power pole. Let's see if I can snap this bad boy off. Got a cool little knob right here, kind of learning on the fly. Look at that, dude. Now, how cool is that? Freaking mount this little base in the boat, which obviously we'll go through all that and show you, but snap it in place and tighten her down. Done. Kind of nice, easy to grip knob right there. Pumps, per, I mean, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger um, than that. It's supposed to be a new brushless mo motor. And you can see the one pump blade eight foot dual kit. So that's cool. Now you only have one pump that leaks instead of two. Just kidding. They don't really leak, but the cap, you know, we've had some of those caps break. So we keep those in stock. Wire design, got a new fuse holder in there. I like that. Looks really, really good. So, so far things are looking great. Got the brace kit mounted, got the anchors mounted. Everything went seamless. Now I'm gonna dive in the boat. Actually got to remove a charger in there and make some room for this and kind of plan it out a little bit better. But of course, this is what you want to see. You want to have the poles mounted on here. So I'm going to get back to work. Make sure you comment what I missed. What do you think of the pumps so far? The one pump dual kits. Comment. Make sure you subscribe. And let's get going on the rest of this install. All right, guys. As you can see, I worked up a sweat mounting on these eight-foot power pole blades. One pump. This thing is sweet. I'm really, really excited about Let me find it. Where did I? Oh, shoot. I lose it. Oh, it's over here. This is what I'm excited about. Mounting template. Oh, snap. That's what I get excited about. You know why? Quick, easy install. Doesn't make it any cleaner. Power pole, new. Check this out right here. This is their whole little clamshell deal. They've got the rubber bolts. Um, there's some aftermarket ones out there that are aluminum. This is plastic. This will get the job done. We'll probably add some silicone around it. Um, just a little bit to keep it kind of those holes sealed up, but power pole made it easy. You've got this mounting template. So I'm gonna mount it over here on this bulkhead. So I'm gonna speed this process up. It's gonna be routing these wires really quick and easy. I'll zoom in, get this dialed in, but these blades are coming out super easy. So let's wrap this up. This bad boy, I'm actually gonna cut this template in half with a knife. I've already looked inside the boat. This is open. I'm going to mount the pump in here on the 36 volt side. So, should be pretty quick and easy. Nice thing is, they tell you everything you need to know. I'm going to level these bad boys up. I'm going to put one, kind of want it just a little bit even with the water line. 
little above it, so if water does come back in here, it's just higher. Cool. Let's see what that looks like. I do like it. Hmm. Actually, I really like it. I'm rolling with it. All right, make my pilot hold drills. Drill bit, 764. Drill sounds funny. Sweet. All right. One thing I noticed this is a little bit in the curve of the gel coat, which with that plastic thing's probably eh, just that bottom corner. I'm gonna have to put a little silicone. We'll see how that goes. I probably should have moved it over just a hair. But again, I want it as far forward as possible so I don't have any excessive bends. I'm gonna take that starboard one under my rigging tube. We'll get that cleaned up with a nice little sleeve um, at the end. So now that I'm done with all my pilot holes, I can essentially just take all this off. Dun, 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 dun. All right, next we gotta drill out the hole for the power pole. Hoses themselves, it's gonna be a three quarter hole saw bit. One thing you wanna be careful of is splintering or chipping the gel coat. You can easily just go in reverse or you can use a countersink bit. I am gonna do a pilot hole. Actually, about messed up. I always run a pilot hole. I drill that all the way through before I do my hole saw. That way I have a good connection. I've had it before. If it's not long enough, it can jump out, damage it. So I always drill your pilot hole size. We'll start that in reverse just to get it to etch in. Then you can take her on in. Just make sure you drill the right hole. And I usually start with light pressure and then let the bit work itself in. Um, again, just to keep it from splintering. So, here we go. Sweet, let's get a shot back. Gotta clean up our mess. Woo! Now we need to route our hoses. This one I'm gonna take under all this rigging crap. And I'm gonna take it on the bottom. Where are you hung? Take two. I'm 
looking better so far. We need a little bit more slack. It's close. Oh yeah. Like a glove. Let's see, let's push these out. Get that mounted. And feed those. Oh, it fits so good. It's gonna be perfect. All right. Now, I would use a countersink bit so you don't chip the gel coat. I've drilled gel coat so many times that I've got a secret touch. So, I'll do it like that. But you can't tell you. Oh yeah. That is tight. That's what I like to see. That is awesome. Man, dude. That is a... That fits so clean. I wouldn't even worry about silicone. You can if you want, but... If it's going to be at the water line, I would. This is going to be a little bit up high in the splash well. You push really hard and twist it around. Golly, it just looks so good. And what's better about it is it's so easy. Let me take a little slack out of that. But I like it. I like it a lot. That'll be easy. Nobody once I lower them down all the way, kind of neaten that up. But bottom one's in. Let's get this top one knocked out. That's how you do it. All right, guys, almost done with the power pole blade eight, one pump install. Let's take a look at where we're at. Of course, I got them covered up. Shoot, man, I got to uncover them. Got excited. I just wanted these things up there. Just want them covered up. Looky, 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 looky. Uh-huh blacked out that's the midnight blackout edition one pump look at that right there now, is that not clean or mean again those come with them got my pumps i stacked them on top kind of kept, kept them up nice and neat in the splash well turned out really really good got the other one on there so I'm gonna finish up this install, get it dialed in. All I have left to do is the pump, and surprising enough, I think that's gonna be easiest part, at least physically. So, poles are mounted, brace kit went on easy, easy peasy. Um, I mean, for a seasoned pro, you know, like me. And I was really impressed. I love the cable management. I, I'm a clean, mean kind of guy, and there's nothing cleaner and meaner than those right there. So, let's dive in the boat. Look what I got. I got the fan on here. It's time to yank that sucker out. <gasps> oh. There's that pump. All right, turn off. 
had to clean it up a little bit. It's really dark in there. But, so, we've got a Lithium Pro single 36 volt battery, NEMA with display. That thing's hot, but let me go ahead and show you how. I'm going to install it. This bracket is sweet, dude. I mean, I can just quick release it. I know it's going to be difficult to see, but lighting's horrible. You try shooting a video in the middle of the boat, but there's my hoses. Let's get those up out of the way for now. Pull them. Pull them. Sorry, I know. It's a nightmare. Um, all right, there's a little piece of fiberglass that caught. That's where I'm gonna put my pump. I'm actually gonna mount it on that back bulkhead. And then, and then, there's always an and then. I'm gonna get battery tray in there. Tuck it back there. I've got room right there is the, there's the knob. This thing see I still have space. I can fill it up. It's got tags in the dang way. And let's go ahead and throw this battery in there too. Look at all that room I'm gonna have up here. I could fit a whole nother battery right here if I wanted to. It's room for a whole group 31. Got my 36 volt lithium pros and my one pump. Yeah, the one pump. How cool is that? Still gonna be able to reach back there. I'll probably have to take the battery out to really move the pump. But since it's a single 36 volt lithium, it is no problem to take it out. And I have easy access for my fluid, so I can fill that up. Let's get a bird's eye view. Look, if you're looking straight down, you can't even see that pump. I have so much room. So I don't know. Maybe I'll put Tackle Warehouse back here, or Spare Prop, or probably just the 18 life jackets that you have to have when you have 18 people in the boat. Not really 18, but we'll deck out about eight people in the Ranger. So, got plenty of storage back here. I'm gonna have a single battery charger mounted right there. I have all this open space, all that open space. Right now we got a AGM over here. I gotta clean that up, that's the next phase, but phase one, Back of the boat, poles, clean, mean. Look how clean it is back here, oh, I love it. So I ended up removing the factory Ranger wire. I'm jumping ahead of myself, has nothing to do with the power pole, but got an 80 amp breaker. We usually put in a, um, we usually put a 70 amp breaker in. Most of these new brushless trolling motors, um, you know, they'll pull up to almost 58, almost 60 amps. So you definitely want to upgrade. There's that beast right there. That was the factory Ranger one. It was a 50 amp deal. So, all right, guys, you saw my layout of the one pump power pole blade. That thing, I really thought it was going to be bigger. I was expecting two pumps in one physically. And no, it's the size of one power pole pump with a much better bracket than the bolts on the back. It was always a pain for us installing and you know removing, just dealing with the whole hoses of having those two bolts on the back to unbolt and it's, it's just tedious. You're already upside down. Now you got that knob on the side and it just releases straight up. So we'll be able to run our hoses to them, get everything nice and sealed and you could even test it or whatever um, and then mount it back in its mounting location. So. I'm going to finish up up here and give you the final tour of the power pole blade one pump setup on the Ranger. Let's go. Let's look at the owner's manual real quick. So here's one key note. Look, when you're looking at your, when you get the owner's manual, I know it's really quick and easy. You just want to throw it away, but I wouldn't, especially with something new. It's always great to look through it. Let me put it back over here. So of course on the power pole deal goes through step by step on install you know what's included make sure you're not missing anything choosing the mount, right mounting location mounting the anchors installing the bracket there's some good little notes in here you need to take note of glance through it. it's pretty simple installing the hydraulic hoses one big thing on these fittings right here 
you know, you want to use a 7 16 wrench on that bottom fitting and the 5 8 wrench on the top. So you're going to hold that bottom fitting still while you're only tightening the top so you don't strip or um, strip that out or put any extra strain on there going into the block of the pump. And then this little doohickey right here talks about it when you prime the pump, which we're about to go through priming, which is one thing that was very interesting to me. This thing's really cool. You can just press it down, press it in, I should say, and then do a quarter turn and pull it up. And that way you can take the pressure off your power pole pumps. If you need to service them or whatever, they will fold down or they will fall down, no pressure on the pump. So that's a pretty cool service deal. Um, obviously to note, it does note in here that it will fall down. So you want to make sure that no one's behind it or whatever. But one thing, let's jump in the boat. So I've got this sweet little, the new little handheld deal, which is the new power pole remote, man. This thing is, it's a lot more compact than I thought it would be. So you've got your speed buttons down here in the bottom. Slow, medium, fast. And then, so let's go through priming this bad boy. We'll jump in here and I'll show you where I've got it mounted. You can see my whole tool mess. Lithium Pro, golly, that is a disaster over there. That's next, but we clean, we mean over here. Here's the pump, tucked in, nice and neat. You can see my funnel because I'm still adding fluid to it. Let's see if I can get some light on the subject. Yeah, you can't even tell. There's some air in there. So, one thing I can tell you. Hello. Came from the dark hole. Had to catch up. One thing that I can tell you, priming this was completely different. Because now you have one pump feeding all the fluid to two. So it's double the effort of priming. When I first put fluid in and filled it up, you know, a little bit past the line because I knew it would take up some, and I hit them down, there was no pressure on it. And I was hitting the pump, and I was like, okay, what's going on? Well, nothing was going on because there was literally no fluid. So you're going to have to add fluid multiple times. The best way to do it is get it up to the fill line, lower them down. It's probably going to be empty first time you do it. So fill it all the way back up lower it down they should take that time i filled it up a little bit past the max um it did take and now there's a lot of air in the line so i'll let that settle out and get to the optimal level but without further ado let's get those power poles down let's see here double tap oh yeah i like it double tap up There you go. Power pole blades, one pump. How many pumps? One pump. Let's go, one pump. You can't even see it in there. It's dark. So, of course, Bass Bell Electronics, we sell, install power poles. We have everything you need in store, online, whatever's convenient for you. So make sure you let us know. And if you like this video, this whole breakdown, it was pretty cool for me going through it first time. I love the power pole, one pump. We'll see if they uh, have any issues or if they're rock solid. So if you've been running the one pump or you're considering getting it, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. I love the matte black. I'm a blackout kind of guy. So I've still got to clean up a lot of stuff, get all my tools, but the power pole install is complete. So now it's time to put everything else into place. But if you have any questions, let us know. BassBoatElectronics.com. Peace.